A simple paging system can be just a program input, four duckers, a monitor distributor, and a paging input. If we turn on the two and three outputs from the monitor distributor and speak into the paging microphone, the duckers will duck the audio in zones two and three and will page into those zones. In some cases though, you also want to have emergency paging. One simple way to accomplish that is to place a input selector on every output from the DSP. One of the inputs on the input selector is wired to the normal signal path for that output. And then the other input on every input selector is wired to the emergency page input. Now to do an emergency page, all we need to do is switch all of those input selectors to the second input at the same time. The first step in this process is to link all of those input selectors together. This can be done by assigning them all to the same control number. As we assign each input selector to the same control number, the pop-up warning will be letting us know that they're all going to be tied together and will all function together. The next step would normally be to tie all of those input selectors to a control input that's wired to the fire alarm panel or the emergency enunciator. To do that, first we need to go back to the site view, right click on our DSP, go to unit properties, and then click on Configure External Control Inputs. In order for this to work, the control input needs to believe that we're connecting to a potentiometer. So go ahead and select POT for input number one, hit OK, hit OK again. Now we go back into Design View, and we assign one of those controls to that potentiometer. To make it easier to see what's happening, the controls for all four input selectors have been copied to a single control screen. On the back of the DSP, it's important that the two wires from the fire control system or the emergency enunciator are wired to the A and B ports of the control input you're going to use. Now that we're online to the device, if I short pins A and B, on control input one of my DSP, all of the input selectors switch to input number two. As soon as I release that contact closure, they all switch back to input number one. It's important to remember that when contacts A and B are shorted, the input selectors will switch to input number two. So in this example, I'm using input one as my normal program and input two as my emergency page. That works fine as long as I have a normally open connection from the fire system. In most cases, it's actually better to have a normally closed connection from the fire system. And in that case, you just use input number two as your normal input and input number one as your emergency paging input.